to the Vlogmas Day 4. I am on my way to work at my staff job. It is 6. It's normally it's time I leave my house, but if I need to really push it, I can push it to 6.10. <laughs> That's probably about the latest I should leave, but we're doing okay today. I was really hoping that they would call me in because lately uh, census has been low which means there's not been as many patients so they've been putting nurses on call but I'm like not been on call in a while so I guess that's fine but I'm like mm, whenever you're ready girl I'm ready to be on call I'll just let, say the word <laughs> But I'm going to go to work today and then I'm off. So, that's fine. I'm getting my hair taken down tomorrow. Thank God, because I'm tired of this weave. Before that, I had uh, braids. So, it's like I haven't seen my hair in a minute. I think I gave myself like a week or two weeks between the braids and the weave. So, we'll see how long my hair is. If y'all can recall, if you guys been knowing me or watching my channel, I cut all my hair off in January. So, I've been trying to let it grow because for Jordan's sister's wedding, I'm supposed to be wearing right here in a ponytail, like a low slick back ponytail. And I think right now are the latest that I've seen my hair. I can put it in a probably like a high ponytail, like ain't nothing gonna be there to attach it to but at least you can slick it up you know what I'm saying and then you can probably add some weave to it but uh sometimes your hair your hair has to be long, longer to go in a lower ponytail than the higher one so we'll see what it's looking like when she takes it out tomorrow tomorrow is going to be busy because I'm getting my hair done and then we're going out for his sister's birthday in the evening so hopefully it comes together nicely or else I'm gonna just be looking a mess ha <laughs> um what else I need to go grocery shopping so I've been compiling a list I'm aware that y'all are just looking at nothing hold on sorry guys it's dark I've been compiling a list for my groceries lately I've been doing like weekly grocery shopping cause I thought that Maybe I can save myself a few coins doing it that way. Because it's like, okay, did you cook everything that you need, was supposed to cook this week? And it's like, no, okay, well, then cook it type of thing before I run out of food or whatever. Instead of just buying it, buying a lot at one time, especially with produce and stuff, you know what I mean? So I felt like if I buy, I basically felt like I would use what I bought if I bought it weekly. But we'll see. Um, anyway, that's, that's what's going on tomorrow, but for today, I'm just going to work. It's Friday, thus I can wear different colored scrubs, and I didn't feel like going to my dryer to go dig out blue scrubs. <laughs> I need to do laundry tomorrow, too. I did one basket on that other day. Y'all saw me doing it. So, hmm. No good for it to being busy on my off day. I hate that for me. But I will see you guys when I get to work. got my badge at home so today should be interesting all right y'all i haven't even talked to y'all today i was going to talk to y'all on lunch but such was not the case i have had like a busy start to my day i started off having to like get blood draw first off okay so four patients two covid Hold on. Uh, bladder scan, please let me know. Oh, I don't know who that is calling about a bladder scan. Anyway, 
Sorry, I got y'all close. Y'all need to know where I'm at. <laughs> but basically, I've had four, four patients, two COVID, two non-COVID. And so one of my patients, she came in for altered mental status. Basically, she called her son to tell her son she needs help to take her to the hospital. And when the son finds her at home, she doesn't know anything like her name, anything. What happened? She don't remember calling him or anything. So he brings her to the hospital. So they're trying to figure out what's wrong with her. So she has all this imaging and the labs done. So it's been a day with her trying to do all these labs. I've been arguing live all day long. I'm so tired of it. I drew a rainbow because she's a new admission. So I figured they'd order all types of labs on her. So I drew a rainbow at the beginning of the shift. And then I tried to print the label. The label didn't print one time. So I tried to reprint the label, still didn't print. So I put patient label on all of the tubes, sent them down to lab, right? And then um, the lab tells me they can't see the order. So then I re-put the order in and then get the label the, this time the label did print so then I was able to lab should have been able to see it so by the time they saw it and they processed it they talking about the blood hemolyzed so I was like great here we go with this BS again so then what I had to poke her again after I didn't I already tried to be smart so that I didn't have to poke her multiple times so that's that patient I got another patient who came in because he's been like dizzy and falling but he's ready to go home. But just like the other lady, they need all this imaging done. So they both had to get like echo done. Uh, one of them had to get the ultrasound of his legs done because there's some discoloration there. And then the one with ultra mental status, she had to get MRI done. So it's been a mess of them having to go get labs and stuff done in imaging. I'm out here going to my car because I needed to just pick something up real quick. I decided to um, stay till 11. They asked me if I could stay till 11, so I told them yes. Because despite all of that going on, my patients are actually like easy patients. So they all can like ambulate. They don't really call for much. The only reason why I've been in their room so much is because they had like so much to do. My two COVID patients are fine. One of them probably can go home tomorrow. Ooh. I really need to go home today. He's room air, but since he's not insured, they're thinking like he might need a, um, they want to go ahead and give him the doses of the remdesivir. I don't know what that has to do with insurance, but that's what they told me. So I was like, okay, but he seems okay without oxygen. We're going to do a walk test on him later to make sure he can go home without oxygen. Um, what else? That's him. And then my other patient. He's been fine. He's on 8 liters high flow. Which is not that much oxygen. And he's normally on 2 to 3. So that's not too bad. Oh, I guess this car's letting me go. So that's not too bad. Problem with him is that uh, he lost IV access. So I had the girl who does like the ultrasound guided IVs come to put one in. So I'm just waiting on that for him. And then we'll be done for the day really other than just getting um, his remdesivir. So that's my little quick rundown. I'm about to go get coffee because like I said, I'm staying to 11. So that'll be like a 16 hour shift. Y'all, y'all, y'all. All right, I'll talk to y'all in a little bit.
it's me staying until 11 o'clock for me. All right, you guys. So I was on the phone almost the whole time. I'm on my way home with Kelsey because we haven't worked together almost. No, we haven't worked together the entire week. So we was catching up on all the dumb stuff that happened on my unit. Lots to talk about there. I ain't gonna say nothing right now. I got me a little drinky drink from Taco Cabana. As y'all can see, um, I stayed till 11 today. And it wasn't too bad, to be honest. Honestly, first off, let's talk about it. I like checked the medication list to see. I was like, let me see how much they got going on to see if I want to stay. Because the deal was to 11 initially. So they ain't had no real match, just like three pills or two things. I was like, all right, my patient's cool today. I like them. We, we I could stay a little bit longer. So I was, I was like, all right, I'll stay. Honestly, it was real chill. I was dedicated to staying till 11. Give me a little extra coin. Okay, but uh, they ended up finding a nurse, I guess. So I ended up living, leaving at nine. So basically I did all her work for her because I already had passed two out of my three patients medications and I had already, I discharged one. So I was just like, once I found out someone was coming, I'm like, oh, I'm not giving this person these meds. So work hard for what? Um, but that was pretty much it. I think I had something else to tell y'all regarding that, but I can't remember right now cannot remember oh well i thought honestly that i was going to be able to talk to y'all more because i was at my staff hospital today but such was not the case as y'all can see but hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog and i will see you guys tomorrow mm -hmm.